So after setting up our views and routes, we're going to take a break and look at a very simple concept, which is flashing messages. Now you'll see this on most websites when you perform an action, it will flash a message. And then when you refresh the page, it will go. It's just a notifier to tell you that something has happened, uh, but it won't persist. So what we're going to do is create a very uh, basic example route, and we're going to do this just within our home route here. And when we hit that route, we're going to redirect the user to the home page, flash a message, and then that's going to go the next time we refresh. It's basically just a temporary piece of information. Uh, so what we're going to do then is we are going to just open up messages. Remember, we saw if flash global, that means is it has a flash message already been set. If it has, let's show this markup here with the message. Uh, global is just the name of the the uh, flash message. You can call that whatever you want. But let's just create a, a quick example route here. We'll remove it in a minute called flash. And let's create our closure and our app. So, we, so it's in scope. And all we're going to do here is say app flash. We're going to choose the name of the flash key, in which case it's global. Again, this can be anything. And then we're going to choose the content. So you have registered, for example. And then we're going to redirect the user to the home page. So we're going to say app response redirect. And for now, we can just redirect to forward slash because, uh, oh, actually, no, let's generate the URL. So we'll say app URL for home. Remember, that's this. So all this flash route is going to do is flash a message and it's going to redirect us to the home page. Now, remember, because the home page has um, or extends the default template and the default template includes that messages uh, template here, we're going to flash a message. And then the next time around, because the session would have been removed, it won't show it the next time around. That's basically why we call it flashing messages. So we're on the home page. Let's go to flash. Now you see that message show up here. When we refresh the page again, it goes. So that's how simple it is. We're going to be doing this throughout the application because when we do things like register a user, we want to show them a message at the top of the page and then go ahead and uh, uh, next time they refresh, it goes and it's just a little bit of information for them. So that's how we flash messages within Slim. Fairly straightforward. And like I said, we'll be using this throughout the application.